Well, how do you do, failers? All right, so we got a new hunting tool, or is this just a new toy? That is the golden question. So, I have been busting my butt for the last two years. I always wanted an e-bike, and finally here, here it is. I got one. Um, so, I did a lot of research for e-bikes, and... There's so much stuff out there um, about these things. What's good, bad about each one. There's so much stuff, so much info. Um, I decided to go with the manufacturer called Baku. Um, the original name of the company was called Back Country. And these guys are hunters from, I believe it's Utah, northern Utah. And they wanted a way to get into uh, elk country. So these are diehard hunters that um, wanted to uh, build a diesel-like bicycle. So this bike here is uh, built around the Bafang uh, Ultra motor. This motor will put out a total of 1,500 watts. So... Um, it's you can adjust it anywhere from 750 watts to 1000 watts um, to get out 1500 kind of all depends on your battery I upgraded the battery I want with a 21 milliamp uh, battery uh, the standard one that comes with it is I believe 17.5 milliamp um, and it comes with the Max's tires, and these are 26 by 4 inch. Um, the bike itself, the model, is called a Mule. Um, they have another version that is called a Step Through, which uh, the crossbar here will come down to here. I'm five foot seven, and I kind of wish I went with a Step Through. Um, it's about three inches lower. It's a little hard for me to get on it. I actually have to lay the bike over. Um, I got lucky and found this on a two-day sale. So I got a quite a bit of money off. And I got these saddlebags for free. Um, these are roll pouch saddlebags by Baku. And a roll pouch. And they are waterproof. So the big... Uh, thing about these is they actually give you backpack straps for uh, the saddlebags so you can actually turn these saddlebags into a backpack there is a quite a bit of room I can stick my whole entire arm in there that's about uh, almost three feet deep um, each bag will hold up to uh, I think they said 22 pounds um, of weight the back rack is capable, and clip this up real quick here, is capable of uh, holding 100 pounds on it. And the bike itself can tow a 300 pound rider, along with if you have a trailer, you can tow 200 pounds. So that's quite a bit of weight. Um, I, I originally ordered the camo model. I figured if I'm going to spend that kind of money, I want a camo. Um, like I said, I got it on a two-day sale. And I knew that they were on back order. And I contacted Baku, and they told me their next shipment wasn't until, um, uh, I think it was September. But uh, I somehow I got lucky. A week later, I got an email saying my bike's being uh, shipped. So they didn't have the camo that I wanted, and but they had... Um, they said they had a, uh, some tan models here. Has hydraulic disc brakes by Tektro uh, front and rear. It has a 9-speed Shimano um, gearing. By the way, these bags come off real easy. There's two clips right here. And a clip right there. Then they come right off. So right here is how they work. They clip. Actually, you can just pull that cord. And you can open them up. 
um, and they are adjustable so you can maneuver it so this bike is just a regular pedal bike or you can um, uh, have pedal assist which means you have to pedal it like a regular bicycle but it'll also give you power or it has um, just a throttle so right here is the display I'm going to hit the power button hold it on for a few seconds it says hello right now I have this motor set to 750 watts I got in this about three days ago and uh, the thousand watts putting out 1500 is ridiculous you can actually ride a wheelie um, it, it's it's pretty incredible anyway from my last charge I got 11.4 miles and it's at 80 percent now I can toggle through here the odometer I have right now 34 miles I actually rode almost 30 miles um, the second day I had gotten it and I used 50 percent um, I was climbing some hills I had it on 1500 watts at times and just playing around max speed last time I rode it 36.9 mile an hour this thing is incredible average speed 6.6 and then the range right now it says 56 miles to the battery which it all depends on how you ride um, time says two minutes I'm not sure I didn't turn the bike on for two minutes but anyway right here is your pedal assist on how much so you hit your plus or minus button it goes up to five or it goes down to zero which when you pedal it will give you no power if you hold the top button it will go into sport mode so eco mode is roughly 500 to 750 watts uh, when you're pedaling if you put it in sport mode it gives you a full 750 watts right off from the get-go um, I run it in eco just because it's not back braking power um, if you have pedal assist one and gear one in the rear and you hold the minus button it has a has a walking assist mode so right now it's not even clocking a mile an hour and I am very easily walking with a sprained ankle yet on top of it um, on how it goes around um, it has air suspension uh, on the front um, and just a standard hardtail on the rear so we're gonna take this for a small ride and let you guys see how it works so right now I'm in first gear I mean eco mode which is lowest power and pedal assist one and right there just kicked in and it just cruises around this thing is so smooth and it's the electric quiet can you guys hear that whining that really light whine that's the motor you can barely hear it so I'm gonna go down here this is a nice little hill in my yard I could not ride up this hill with a regular bicycle it's too steep and it just walks right up over so that's just pedal assist um, right here is a thumb throttle on the left side I wish there was room for the right side like a four-wheeler um, so all you do is hold that down there's gain speed seven mile an hour coming up that hill so th this bike um, I'll let you guys judge on is this a hunting tool to getting around on your hunting properties or is this just another expensive toy um, I look at it as kind of both um, I'm using it I the only reason I bought it is because I don't drive my hunting properties are sporadic I live on top of a mountain and they're a few miles so community on a bicycle is how I get around and self-filming is uh, 
um, another another ordeal where I got a lot more weight than the average hunter. So this is my uh, transportation, getting to my properties. Um, I won't be riding on my properties because there's uh, no trails or nothing. So this is going to save my legs and save my back because I can put uh, some of my camera equipment and stuff on the back here. So this is the very first look at the Baku Mule 1000. Um, top output at 1500 watts. This thing is awesome and um, we're going to be uh, hopefully tagging on some nice deer with a tree saddle this year and uh, putting some of the um, some rides on uh, with a bike here. Alright fellas, if you like this content, please hit the like button. That is free for you, free for me. Helps out my uh, video. And if you're not a fellow subscriber, please subscribe. Um, it is August 3rd, 4th right now. Um, October 2nd, we're going to be in a tree saddle um, uh, self-filming our bow hunts. Alright fellas, until next time, yee yee!